open red stayed across the chest. And we are underway as Ben Middlebrooks wins the tip for the Wolfpack. Skip pass. Taylor off a one dribble. Chanting his name as he exited the court. Tonight. And I'm sure after they get through this tough little stretch that they have, uh, they're going to be much better off to be able to get home and, and really start to implement some of that stuff. Marcel with a nice turnaround. Marcel in the open. He's been hot lately. He's their leading scorer. Yeah, and this is one of the things that he's really improved on over the summer, being able to put the ball on the floor. Davis has it in his hands with five to shoot. He'll hoist up a three and knocks it down. Marcel with the steal and the finish. And here comes the Wolfpack. O'Connell with his second turnover in his many possessions. Humstead with the third effort. Nearly a turnover. Fortunate deflection to Diora, who spins baseline and scores. He has had an incredible couple minutes here. Fella, but you see here, just having good patience, being able to drag Diara into that paint and open things up for the three. And it's been ugly at times, but I think they've done a really good job of just kind of slowing it down, controlling the pressure, and being able to get good shots in that court. Get back by Parker. Against ECU on Monday night, so a short drive over. Burns. Well, he had the first points in the first half. That's all he had in the first half was that first bucket, but they go right to him for the first basket. Back with a deep three, and he knew it. Out of the hands. Back. Showing off the range. Yeah, getting a DHO at the top. They call his number. And Mo Rivers, who just passed away last month, in the backcourt with Monty Tal. Phil Spence was the sixth man on that team. Plus the foul, uh, playing him one on one. You know, getting in a little bit of foul trouble now. It's one thing when your teammates say he was an incredible teammate, but also when your opponents speak so highly of you. And Lynn yeah. Elmore uh, said, you know, you broke my heart a few times in the ACC tournaments, but they missed a few free throws. Would probably have it back in the single digits, but again, they're kind of bringing that intensity and putting the pressure back on NC State. And I think he got away with a little bit of a walk. Doing a good job of putting the ball on the floor. Maybe got away with a walk, but MJ Rice cutting behind the defender and finishing strong. For the Wolfpack. Davis to the baseline. Upstead. Wow. Well, he only had three threes on the year coming in. He's got two in this game. Nobody stops Jaden Taylor. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we've always talked about is they just have all that balance. And I think since the second game, you know, Jaden Taylor's been the primary ball uh, defender. And again, just kind of creating that havoc. How good is Jaden Taylor in the open floor? Back across, but he's just such a physical, aggressive guard. Here he just sends him to the left, steps back across, and finishes on the other side of the basket. shoot he's nearly at 50 percent yeah no, dj horn is going to get the assist on that one but you got to give at least half and some of the credit over to dj burns for setting a really good screen yeah and you got to give credit credit to lj thomas i feel like kind of his effort and what he bring during his his minutes was able to create create some energy for this team and hopstead with four burns pretty on the baseline the spin and the shot Check back in. Both teams utilizing their depth. Middle Brooks would have been his first three of the year. Burns has the touch on the tip. Taylor's got 21. 
DJ Byrne has already passed half court because he knew that one was good. Wolfpack is starting to make this thing a little bit ugly now. Davis banks it in. Mack has that range. He's shown it. Not this time. Rice on the push. Oh! Just being the athlete that he is. With that Notre Dame, Liberty, they've had ECU. They've had a tough schedule, so kind of able to diagnose some things and, and get back there in the lab when they get home and, and enjoy their event for sure. 93-61, the final score.